All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert your preset or component to an APK. And I'm also going to do that with uh, my upload. I'm going to upload, update my Dark Skittles preset on the Play Store, and I'm going to show you right now. So for those of you who have purchased the Dark Skittles uh, component and presets for KLWP, this is what you're getting. You know, you have a static battery graph. You have a animated battery graph and then you have another static battery graph that just kind of changes the color you know red for dead this is like a yellowish green for medium and uh, my phone was dead earlier by the way if you can't tell but as this thing continues to charge it will go up here to the top and it will be green so this is what you're getting with the update but now for those of you watching to get a APK how do you make it into an APK we're going to follow these directions over here so uh, first of all, for those of you who want to make an APK, you have to ensure you have Oracle JDK, so you can download that there. I already have that. Download the full repo from right there, uncompress it wherever you want, and change the folder name. And, and so you'll get some warnings or whatever about, but I haven't had an issue. I, haven't, I don't have any viruses, so it's all good, I guess. And now... I've downloaded the repo, I've, re I've uncompressed it, I've renamed my folder, and my folder is renamed Dark Skittles by CraftMath. I've been using this ever since I created Dark Skittles. So uh, and I don't have any problems with it. Hopefully you won't either. And then the next direction says, create a wonderful icon. You can use this site to whatever. Well, let me show you what you got to do. You got to make some icons, and then you want to go, you have all these folders over here inside of the folder that you have hopefully renamed. And we want to go to app src main. So app src main. And then inside of there, we want to look for res. Now what I've already done it, in mine, you have to create some icons. I'm guessing these show up on the Play Store somehow. Now when I update this APK, when I upload it into Android Developer Studio or whatever it's called, uh, I also put pictures into there. But if let me show you what I've done. You want to copy those pictures into you know this folder, but then you have different ones like for ultra high definition. I, I don't know what this stuff means. I really don't, but I just did it and it worked. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, inside the res folder, we have a IC launcher PNG. Well, okay, there's that one. It's a 640 by 960. Let me go down here to this one. XHDPI. I'm guessing medium quality, extra good quality. I don't know. But look, 640 by 960. This one here, 640 by 960. All, all of mine were the same. I haven't seen where this is used. I have seen this logo pop up on the Play Store, but nonetheless, I did update every single one of these. Uh, I don't know what that is, but nonetheless, you will have some files inside of here that are not your pictures. But you want to make sure you re rename it to IC underscore launcher, or at least I did, and that's what did the trick for me. You know, you, you have a picture on your computer, you copy it to this folder, and you rename it IC underscore launcher. That's what's worked for me. I, that might be a little bit different for you. But nonetheless, we had that done, so we got our icons made. Now, copy your wallpapers in zip format without unpacking them. If you have wallpapers, such as presets, you want to put them in this folder inside of this stuff well it's gonna be way back here a little bit let me back up a little bit oh lord let's see all right going back to the beginning whoa all right so right here dark skittles by craft math um, you want to copy your wallpapers and components into the direct or correct directory so let me go to my cell phone and I'm gonna find those So I'm going to custom folder and then, okay, I got a component that I want to share and the component that I'm going to update is this one. So i tell you what, I'm going to copy and drag this. Let's see, let me, I'm going to put it on my desktop. So that's one of them. I'm going to drag that to my desktop. And then I also, I'm also updating this with a new wallpaper, just a new preset. 
and that new preset, where are you at? Um, do, 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 do. Okay, there it is. So I guess it gets, as the new ones get added, they go to the bottom in this case, but that's the one I want. So I have a preset, which is a wallpaper, and then I have that component that I copied over. So I'm done with that. Now what I want to do though, is I want to move those files into the following folders. So I need to make a little bit of room here. I'm done with this. I can just slide this over here. And there's those two pieces, you know, the dark Skittles back graph component. I want to put that in the component folder. Now that's just what I named it. But notice the end, the end of this name here. It says, you know, comp.comp.zip. The .comp.zip, that's what it's automatically going to be named. And notice, you know, you are instructed to not unzip these files. And then this one here, the Dark Skittles battery, notice the name here for this one is a .klwp.zip. We want to put these into the right folder. So here's where we put these at. It says go to app, src, main assets, wallpaper. So I'm going to my folder that I renamed. I'm going to app. I'm going to src. I'm going to src main and then I'm going to assets and I'm going to wallpapers. Now, as you can see inside of mine, if you have anything in here, I can't I can't remember if there was anything in here or not, but these are the ones that I've already uploaded to the Play Store. I just want to add a new one into it. So I'm going to drag it in there. I do have a different name for this, so bam, I've added a new one. Now for my components. So now I'm doing this one. If I have a component or if you have a component to add, you want to drag it into it. This is the first component that I'm going to be adding to this particular uh, piece on the Play Store, but I'm dragging it in there. Bam, got that done. So we're good there. What's next? Oh, okay, it does say delete the Hello World template and the README file. So whatever you have inside of those folders, delete it. Only add what you want to share or sell. Now this is where it's going to be different between Windows users and Mac users. Everything up until this point, yeah, it may look a little bit different on a Windows computer versus a Mac or whatever, but Nonetheless, here, if you're on Windows, all you have to do is run wizard.bat, I guess. I've never done that. However, for Mac users, you have to do this little run, or you, you had to run Python wizard.py. Here's how I did this. Here are my instructions to remind me. So I've copied my wallpapers, and in this case, components. And it, this, is, this is what I do every time I update my, my little app or preset for the Play Store. I copy the wallpaper zip to the folder. In this case, I did that and the component now. I want to open terminal, so I'm going to do that. It's just a step-by-step -step process is what I do. All right, so terminal is open. I want to copy and paste the line below. Basically, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to get to that folder where Python wizard is. Let me show you that before I actually copy to it, just to give you a little insight. All right, so backing up, and here's my folder I renamed from the repo. Under Tools, you have these different types of things. And basically, I want to tell Terminal to locate to blah, 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 dark skittles by craft math slash tools. So basically, it's locating to right here, and then it's going to wait for my next command. So I'm going to do that. Let me copy and paste this right here into Terminal. So I'm in terminal now, and now it's in my tools folder. It's waiting for the next command. I want to type in this, but basically here's what's going to happen. I'm going to copy, I'm going to paste, but I'm not going to press enter yet. So what it's doing, it's in the tools folder, and it's going to run this, through Python, it's going to run wizard.py. It does all its little magic from here on out. So I have it copied in the terminal, I'm going to press enter. It's doing this stuff and it's saying enter key store password. Now for those of you who are doing this for the first time, uh, if you're on Windows, I don't know. But if you, it, you know, okay, write down the password you gave for the key. I guess you gotta give it a password. I know I did. Every time I update this, I have to do type in my password, so I'm gonna do that right now. So from here, it's building the skin. It's gonna do its thing. Some of you, it might take a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds. So eventually you'll get to some point, whether you're on terminal or whatever Windows, the Windows computer does, hopefully it works out for you. But on the Mac, I get to here and it says APK ready. And it tells me where my APK is. 
So going back to that folder, that is really nothing but it's in that repo folder you named, re, you uncompressed it, you renamed it under APK inside of that, APK sign. Now, I didn't show you this at the beginning of the video, maybe I should have, but it, it'll be okay. Right here, um, what it said prior to this one getting updated, notice it says modified today at 349, so it was just updated a moment ago. Um, it says created back on 910, that's back when I first created Dark Skittle, so but nonetheless, this thing here should be in the APK folder. And I'm guessing maybe it, maybe it helped to make sure that it did get updated right when you did it. But there we have it. This is the APK. This thing right here is what we wanted. This is what you want to upload into you know, the, the developer studio thing inside of Google. Or you might want to just share the APK with somebody, however you choose to do so. That's what you want, and that's what I've been asked to share with uh, you all. So there you have it. And that is how you get an APK with your KOWP preset or component. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.